And tonight, a 68-year-old woman has died after the sedan she was a passenger in hit an SUV. This happened along South Haverhill Road and Sunny Lane Avenue this morning in West Palm Beach. People who live nearby tell us the area is known for traffic trouble, and they tell WPTV's Joel Lopez something needs to be done to make it a safer stretch of road. A car crash along Haverhill Road and Sunny Lane Avenue early this morning left one woman dead. PBSO saying it was 68 year old Maria Talento. It's terrible. People are trying to make left hand turns out of Sunny and the guardrail around there by the canal is uh, high and they can't see and you hear squealing all hours of the night. Betty Newland lives in front of where the crash happened and was home when she heard a loud bang. You said you lived here for 40 years, so in your 40 years, how many accidents would you say you've seen? I couldn't even count. Newland says she's had to stop replacing her fence damaged by accidents because she can no longer afford to. <laughs> That's what we go through all the time. Even while shooting the interview, a car nearly crashed along the road. PBSO says Talento was inside of a sedan that was making a turn onto Sunny Lane when it was hit by an SUV driving north on Haver Hill. Didn't surprise me at all. Doesn't surprise me. And it's sad because now someone lost their life. Other neighbors like Lisa Smith say she's seen a huge growth in the amount of traffic over the years. And says people speed through Haver Hill as there are no lights between Gun Club and Summit. I mean, I'm not one that likes lights that, you know, you sit, but it seems like you need something. You got kids sitting up here in the morning for school, and I would hate to see another episode. We have reached out to the city of West Palm Beach and PBSO, but have not heard back. Joel Lopez, WPTV, News Channel 5.